So you got a YouTube channel, you're putting out videos, but no one is watching them. You are struggling to get views and you don't know what you should do. So what I'm gonna do is share with you a little trick that I wish I knew a long time ago when I first started. Because with this, you can start getting more views almost instantly. And no, it's not buying views or any cheats like that, but it is using current events to get your video seen. Because the problem is, no matter how good your videos are when you start out, no one knows who you are, so no one's gonna be searching for you, which makes it really hard to get your videos seen. So by using different current events that people are searching for, such as in this case, we're gonna use the example of the movie Thor, Love and Thunder, and show you how you can use this movie to help you get more views right now. And I'm gonna go through some different genres to show you how you can apply it to almost any genre, even with a movie trailer. So let me know down in the comments what your genre of videos is, and I'll see if I can come up with an idea if it's something that I don't cover. So starting out, the first one is pretty obvious for me. Filmmaking channel, I could easily make some kind of trailer review on the new movie coming out, or maybe Easter eggs that you missed in the video that could tell us something about what's gonna happen in the movie, or even maybe pick out some kind of cinematic thing I saw in a trailer and go over how to do that type of technique. So obviously, that's pretty easy for me because it's a movie that applies very easily. So let's move on to something else. How about beauty? Let's say you have some kind of makeup or hair tutorial channel. You could say, this is how to do your makeup to look like Natalie Portman in the new Thor movie, or perhaps this is what you need to do to make your hair look like she did. Or you could do the same thing with Tessa Thompson, how to make your hair look like Valkyrie from the new Thor movie, or how to do your makeup to look like her. And the same thing goes for guys, how to make your hair look like Chris Pratt as Star-Lord in the new Thor Love and Thunder movie. Or perhaps what type of beard trimming kit to get, what type of beard oils to have to make your beard look as good as Chris Hemsworth's in the new Thor Love and Thunder movie. Because with these types of things, you're connecting your genre with something that's relevant that people are searching for right now. So although someone might not search your channel for how to trim your beard. Well, how to trim your beard to look like Chris Hemsworth from the Thor movie. Well, Chris Hemsworth is famous using his name. The Thor movie is famous and tons of people are watching these trailers now. So let's move on to music. Let's say you're making a video on how to play the song Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. That might get searched. It's an old song and you could probably get some views from that, but let's tack on how to play the song Sweet Child of Mine from the new Thor Love and Thunder movie. Well, people are searching that and they might think, oh, that's cool, I wanna learn how to play that song. Maybe guitar, whatever. Easy ways to connect it to a relevant topic or maybe even look at a different aspect, how to pick a song for a certain mood to make an awesome movie trailer like Thor, Love and Thunder. So let's go with something a little more difficult. Let's try a finance channel. What can you do to connect a finance channel to the Thor, Love and Thunder trailer? Well, how about you could talk about the budget of the movie and how much they expect to make from all their box office sales? Or maybe how will the ticket sales and the earnings from the new Thor Love and Thunder movie affect Disney and the Disney stock or movie theater stocks and what you could expect from that. Or what about the fitness genre? How to work out and eat to look like Chris Hemsworth in the new Thor Love and Thunder trailer. Or maybe look at it from a different angle. What type of supplements do you need to take to build that type of muscle? Or maybe even speculating on what kind of steroids maybe was Chris Hemsworth taking to get this look in the movie. Trust me, it's been done. Lots of people make videos like this. Or even on the female side, you could do the same thing with Natalie Portman. People talked about how she looks jacked playing Jane diet and training plan to get in shape to look like Natalie Portman in the new Thor Love and Thunder movie. You are using a famous person's name, you are using a movie that's relevant that people are searching for and gonna be watching soon to help get a video seen by you that you might be saying the exact same stuff on, hey, this is a diet and training plan to get me looking like the way I am, but no one knows who you are. But in this case, they know who that person is, and so you're telling them how to look like that person. What about an art channel? That's something you can make really cool and get creative with, like maybe a time lapse of drawing Thor from the new Love and Thunder movie. Maybe take a screenshot of the trailer and then show how to draw that, and that could be really cool for someone. So what about travel? That could be a bit more of a stretch, but maybe something along the lines of what movie theater to pick to get the best viewing experience of the new Thor Love and Thunder movie in various cities around the United States or world or whatever city you might be in. Easy things you can do like that. And let's say fishing. It's a bit of a stretch, I can't think of anything there. But you get the idea, what we're doing is using a current event. It doesn't have to be Thor, the trailer, but this is just an example to show there's always something going on in the world, always something that people are searching for. And if you can find a way to tie that event to a type of video that you're making, you're going to greatly increase your chances of getting your video seen. Now, the most important thing is that you are making a good video because what this is gonna do is help people to find you and see your video, but those people are not going to convert to subscribers if your video is no good. So find a way that you can tie some kind of current event into your video and make sure it is a good 
video. And there's one more step that really helps with this and that is making sure you have good tags in your videos as well as a good title. Diet and training plan to look like Natalie Portman in the new Thor Love and Thunder movie. That is the title that'll probably get people clicking. You can make an easy thumbnail for that, but you also wanna make sure you load up the tag section with things that have to do with Natalie Portman, diet and training, Thor Love and Thunder. I have a video that I will link below and also in a card that will really help you understand how to use tags to increase your chances of getting your video seen because it might not seem like much and it's just an afterthought. You might type a few things in there, but that is what tells YouTube what your video is about and who to show it to and will greatly increase your chances of getting seen. But that is how you can use the new Thor Love and Thunder movie or in other words, other current events, things that are going on that people are searching for to help you get more views. If you have any questions, post them down below. Once again, let me know what your genre is and I'll see if I can come up with something that has to do with the example from this movie trailer. But but if you have any questions on other things too, this is all about filmmaking. I've got a Facebook group you can join. Everything's linked in the description, all my equipment. If you've got anything, I'm here to help you. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.